Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and uh, we're here with a new video. Uh, so today, we're going to be looking at the art of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, right? Um, so, I really love this game, okay? Uh, I didn't play it when it first came out. I kind of played it, um, like, I, I the first Metal Gear game I actually played was 4, and then, like, I kind of, like, went backwards, in a way. Um, but Metal Gear Solid 2 was definitely a standout. Um, I think a lot of people really, really enjoyed this one. I think, um, you know, Raiden, he's, I, I like him. You know, a lot of people don't like him. I know, and a lot of people do like him. So, but, you know, personally, I'm on the enjoy Raiden side, right? Especially what he does later in the series. Um, but, yeah, uh, I really enjoy this game and uh, the art. Um, I think, I think Yoji has definitely, like, evolved in terms of, like, the way his art is, but, like, the way the Metal Gear Solid 2 art is, I, I especially enjoy, enjoy, right? I like, I like what he's doing now, but I also like what he did before, too, right? It had a, it, it you could see the shift in style, right, a bit, right? Um, uh, like the previous video, I'm going to, uh save the review portion for the very end i'll leave a timestamp for you guys right um this is just gonna be me looking through the book and then giving you my reaction to the art and then you know because it because that way it's just a little bit more like of a genuine reaction right and um how i feel about the book and then by the end of the book uh, i'll leave a review right and uh, my recommendation so uh with that said uh let's get this started Okay, so, let's see, um, I don't know what the hell this is, I think this might be either Raiden or, or the, uh, what we call it, Cyborg Ninja, yes, let's, let's, let's skip that, it's not important, All right, we have the, uh, what we call it, Table of Contents, you know, I usually use the Table of Contents to kind of give a, a way to, um, uh, we call it, uh, have timestamps for the videos in case, you know, you guys are interested in a certain section and my opinion on it, right? Here you go. Um, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. So you can see what I'm talking about, how, uh, Yoji's style before was a little bit different than it was now. Um, a little bit less refined, but I feel like in a good way. Like, it's like, it's rougher... And there's like a, I don't know, there's like a, there's a tooth to it. You know what I mean? There's a grit. You know, that, that, I feel like Yoji's work is, uh, it's not lacking. It's just, uh, it's shifted. It's become more refined. You know what I mean? It's like, before he had like some raw iron, and now he has a sharp-ass sword, right? Still effective, still great. But, um, there's something, there's a beauty to the iron as well, right? Yeah, look at that. Solid Snicker. Here we go. This is not the solid the snicker. I think this is like a so yeah. I, th I think in the real book, this it's a two page spread, right? And then you have Ride in here, with a. This looks like a shotgun. But. Uh, mm, or it could be an M14 rifle. Yeah, I don't know. So it just feels like a shotgun for some reason. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, look at that. I like how um, Yoji used to incorporate the scan lines right into the art. Um, kind of gave it like a that like PS1 aesthetic, you know. Nice, Raiden. Okay, we got Dead Cell. Look at that. Yeah, so you could see with the uh, Yoji style before, there's a lot more. I feel like there's a lot more emphasis on shadow and like big shadow shapes, right? Um, you know, Yoji and, like, you know, like, before it was, like, you know, a lot of the detail was more obscured, right? And I guess, uh, you know, as he got more design-heavy, um, he had to make those things a little bit more refined. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with these, like, really cool silhouettes, you know? Um, reminds me a lot of, um, Ashley Wood's art, right? Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, we got, we got, um, what's his name, uh, his name Vlad? Yeah, with his with his cock knife. Yeah, nice. 
Is that his name? Probably getting it wrong. I was, I, like, I was getting it wrong in the video. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I remember, but whatever. Yeah, so we got Ray here. Right? Um, very nice. It's just, see, like, look, look how wild this is, you know? And then, you know, you get the bits of color just to highlight, you know, you, typical Yoji stuff, but I feel like, um, the way he rendered before is different than it is now, you know? It looked like parts of this is like kind of unrefined, you know? It's still cool though, right? Here you go, Metal Gear Ray. Intruder, I don't even know what that says. Yeah. Here we go. We got the Snakeu, right? I'm pretty sure this is when he's on the the uh, the tanker, right? Um, yeah, just I love this use of monochromatic color and uh, he, how he uh, does like the like the almost like the doubling effect, right? Um, that you get from screens. It's cool. Yeah. I guess um, back then he uh, tried to do more painting. He tried to incorporate more painting into his uh into his art and it, it just has this really cool metallic look to it you know i really enjoy that look at that snake pliskin look at that so cool yeah this is back when yoji's work made everyone look look like metal it's fucking cool man Yeah. You know, I always see this cover, but I don't see Snake for some reason. You know what I mean? It always feels like, like this was, I don't know, like it, it's supposed to be Raiden. You know, well, like, what, like if you squint, right? Like, for some reason, like, I always pick up Raiden when I, when I see this cover, but I know it's Snake, you know? I know it's like, because I can see the headband, but also, like, for some reason, it just feels like Raiden. I don't know, just because of the game, I guess, right? But yeah, you can see it's nice, um, this nice brushwork, right? Things kind of coming in, coming out, right? Look at that. Yeah, his use of marker and, and watercolors and stuff. It's really nice. Yep, look at that. So dynamic. I love this pose. I love uh, how this gun... This is... I feel like this is more, this is more in line with the uh, Yoji stuff now, right? Uh, but stuff like this, that's like, this is like Metal Gear Solid 2, like specific and kind of a little bit in 3 and then when 4 comes around and starts disappearing, becomes more um, graphic like this, black and white, you know, with touches of color. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Man, Yoji's stuff, man. It looks so refined and yet loose. And it's just, oh, it's just wonderful. Yeah, we got a ray on the back. It's very, very nice. Yeah, this is a very nice composition right here. Always a fan of, uh, of Shinkawa's work. Shinkawa-san! Yeah. Um, this... I think they should have used this as the cover, right? But, you know, when the game first released, Raiden was a secret, you know, like nobody knew that Raiden was going to be the main character, right? So they had to have Snake in the front. But um, I feel like this would have been a much, like, like if they had like a re-release or something, you know, this would be a much better cover, right? Um, I think they use this in uh, the, uh, the art book with uh, all three games. Right? Because I, I have that too. Right? And look forward to that. Um, yeah. Look at these buildings. Like, you know they're buildings, but these are just, just shapes. You know, just, but, but when you take a step back, right, it all comes together. Right? Very nice stuff. I like the, um, the warm grays, and then plus the blue and the green. It's just very nice. It just, it's just metal gear, right? Moon. Yeah. 
There you go. Yeah, we got Snake. He's pointing his gun right at you, you know. Oh, look at that. Look how loose these buildings are. And I like how Snake is uh, disappearing into the composition. And then you just have, like, uh, the shadow bits to uh, show where things are. Right? Very nice stuff. Same thing with Raiden. In this one, he almost looks like Meryl, but you know, Mary... Raiden's supposed to kind of look a little bit girly-ish, right? That's that's his whole thing, pretty boy. Look at that. Love this color, like this blue and this green, and it's like this kind of like weird, oversaturated, but like like undersaturated color thing. It's it's, it's cool. I don't know, like, I know some of the, most of these are done in ink, but I don't know if he does, like, a, like, a digital touch on top, or if he just, uh, you know, does it as it is, and then, you know, they scan it. Obviously, things like, like, you know, the scan line effect, right, that, that's digitally added, you know. Here we go, Raiden. Oh, yeah. We have him in a skull suit, really cool design. Yeah, I love that Yoji's designs are just, they, they're designs, but also their art. You know, there's, it's a very hard thing to try to mix both because, uh, um, there, a lot of times there's a stiffness to a uh, design art, right? Not everything, obviously, but the, the best artists can, can do both where they design and they, um, have some, a little bit of our, our you know, artistic flair, you know, and Yoji does that really well. Uh, we have Raiden again. This is really fucking cool. Yeah. I just wish it didn't have this, like, crinkled paper aesthetic. Like, I just want to see, you know, Raiden like this. Super cool. Look how his leg is, like, missing, but, like, you know, still there. It's just the implication, right? Okay. Oh, I guess this is part of the same page, right? Um... I wish for the double page pre uh, double page sp spreads they would you know include both but you know it's whatever. Um, this is another writing thing, um, similar to what they did before. I guess this kind of show like a kind of like a phantom effect, right? You can kind of see these skull uh, bits, right, with the with the rib cage and shit, right? Oh, duty. <laughs> Ew, duty. Um, we have Dead Cell, right? We got we got Big Boss, we have uh, Fat Man, Fortune, Vamp, right? Oh, his name's Vamp, Vlad, Vamp, right? We have uh, the uh, Ray in the back, very nice stuff. Yeah. Oh wow, it's just I like how these swords, like they go through, right? And you can tell what they are. Despite all the confusion, that's right here. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on, but you could tell who everyone is. And, like, you know, with it just being black and white, it's very hard to stop from just everything blending with each other. But they, they blend well to the point where you could still make distinctions between everything, right? And I really I really enjoy that with uh, Chicago's work. Sons of Liberty. Yep, that's them. Oh yeah, we got Ray. We got three Rays actually. Yeah. I guess I don't know. I don't know what what it is that's exactly different about this and Shin Shinkawa's regular work. You know, like I think not just the medium, but like the application of the medium. I think this one he uses more of a marker, and with the other ones maybe he uses more sumi ink, right? Or, or vice versa, maybe he uses markers now, and is more sumi ink um, in this in this version. I'm not sure, right? Roar. Isn't that a, a Taylor Swift album? Oh yeah, yeah. So we got a front of a gun, and then we got ah, fuck. I wish I could combine these. 
Yeah, so we have Snake, we have Raiden. You know, sh Snake shooting out, just... I don't know, just pretend that they're, they're two together, right? Look at that. Wow. I love how feminine Raiden's face is. And you got Snake, grizzled. And, I'm a man. I'm a manly, I'm a manly man. I'm the manliest man you ever didn't see. Look at him. Even Chibi Snake is cute. Or, uh, is manly, rather. He's cute and manly, right? Um, we have, like, the little emoticons for Otacon, right? Um, I feel like these were barely... This was only used in, like, one section of, uh, the game, which is in the tanker incident, I think. Yeah, here we go. We have Snake. Yeah, like I said, um, the use of colors and stuff is, was different that, than what he than what Yoji does now. Um, I think Yoji just does like a more refined version of this, right? Uh, but it still looks great. Really love it. Um, I really like. I don't know. Like I know his. Uh, like, it's not supposed to be the, this metallic, but it just adds this really cool look, you know? Very nice stuff. Yeah, we have more rays right here. You know, you know how it is. Oh, yeah. We got the two rays looking looking around, and he's like, this guy's like, oh, looking this way. This guy's like, hey, what's that guy doing? This guy's like, hey, ah, cha 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 cha. Ah, cha 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 cha. <laughs> I'm feeling feisty. Yeah, because he's the green one. I think this is, yeah, this is the, the uh, ray leaping into the water. Swan diving into the water, right? Yeah, look at that, so cool. Something about these designs, man, just, like, they're so simple, complex, but also very loose. But also very technical. It's just, it's just good. It's just no, mm, no, 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 tasty, tasty stuff. Delicioso. Yeah. Yeah, we got Snake's face. Um, I think this is Campbell. I'm pretty sure this is Campbell because of his hat. Yeah. Yeah. We got the two. We got the two boys, and we got Campbell right here. And we have a uh, vamp. We got big boss, fat man, fortune, and uh, who's this? I think this is a. Uh... No, it's just part of his leg. It's just part of his leg. Never mind. I thought this was like maybe like a like a, we call it ocelot in his arm or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, we got fortune. Look at her. Looking great. Yep, concept illustrations. Here we go. Characters, right? So yeah, these are these are some initial concepts. Sorry about that. Just got a message. Yeah, these are some initial concepts for uh, for Snake. Um, in his uh, his new sneaking suit, I would assume, right? His new uh, design that you see in the tanker incident, right? Yeah. Very nice stuff. Yep, yeah, more of that. Yeah, so you can see... Yeah, yeah, see, so you can see Yoji is doing more of, like, stuff like this combined with this, right? But before, it was it was more separated in terms of design, right? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. We have like a little grapple design that allows Snake to hook on and hook on from the bridge and sneak down, right? Oh yeah. Very, very nice stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point this book is pretty expensive. Um, much like other Japanese games at the time. Sorry. Yeah, much like other Japanese games at the time, 
you know, it's it's old, and uh, let me silence that. Yeah, it's old, but um, what do you call it? Uh, and as a result, it's rare and expensive, right? But I'm pretty sure the new uh, Metal Gear Solid Collection book, right, which has like everything, 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 right? Pretty sure includes the the Metal Gear Solid 2 stuff, right? Which uh, you guys can look forward to that. Um, I'll probably save that for a special occasion and do just like a giant fucking huge ass review on the entire thing. It'll probably be like like two, three hour video. So we'll save that for a special occasion, right? So let's focus on this. Yeah. So uh, we have the seals, and we have a uh, Iroquois Pliskin, right? Snake's alter ego, right? During the during the event. When he's disguising himself as part of the, uh, the, the SEAL Team 6 crew. Very cool. So, yeah, like I said, you can see how Sh Shinkawa had, you know, design and, uh, what do you call it? Um, and, like, this very, like, artsy, uh, you know, style, right? Because he could do both, right? Like I said, uh, before, I think Yoji was a fashion designer... Uh, was planning on being a fashion designer at one point, and so, as a result, he's, his ability to draw very, uh, stylistic images, you know, that, that are usually, like, a little bit taller than usual. It comes from, it comes from, uh, what we call it, uh, fashion design, right? Very cool. Yeah, look, look, fashion, look, look at Otacon, dude, just, ah, dude, you know, this is almost like a JoJo pose. Very nice. Otacon, much better than Huey. Right. I'm glad he, he fucked his mom, you know, or his stepmother or whatever. I'm glad he fucked over Huey, okay, because Huey sucks. Yeah, we got uh, Emma, who uh, unfortunately does not make it through the incident, you know. You know, if you guys are like, oh, spoilers, it's like, this is fucking, this game is so old at this point. If you haven't played it, if you don't know, right. Uh, poor Emma. She was a good character. Uh, we have Raiden here doing a little. I don't know, like a like a. It looks like he threw something. Yeah. See, here we go. Like some kind of like ninja star. I don't know. Yeah. Look at that. I love Raiden's skull suit. It's so cool and such a. It's like a. Like a cool re rendition of Snake's, like, you know, sneak suit. Um, I wish they'd bring it back or give you, like, an option to have, like, a skull suit for for the other games, but nope. It's only for uh, Mega Solid 2. Still cool, though. Reminds me of the, the, the frog designs in Mega Solid 4. Yeah. Yeah, we have him with his cool fucking mask right like i said like very similar to the frog soldiers later on right very very cool yeah we got we got a naked uh no naked uh right in with uh with his like numbers and shit no uh, maybe this is like an undersuit underneath it yeah i don't remember him having like tattoos in the when you, when you, know, you know the section where, he's, where you're playing him and he's like naked, right? Yeah, I don't think I see. I don't think I saw him with tattoos. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I forgot. Yeah, you, you saw this one before. It's him with the. Uh, it looks like a shotgun. I can't lie. I don't know how. It also looks like a rifle, but it's just like somewhere in between. I don't know. Yeah, we got night. Oh, Ro uh, we got Rose, right? Um. Yeah. She reminds me of um Naomi. I yeah, when I saw her I thought I instantly thought she was Naomi, but she's not. Yeah, we have uh Richard Ames. I think the I think the president or yeah, somebody. We have Campbell, right? The colonel, who, uh, 
is in leagues with the the Patriots at this point, right? Or is a AI or some shit, right? Oh, Peter Stillman, dude, really great character. Um, he is the uh, retired police officer who uh, helps you through this, uh, you know, the section where there's bombs being planted by fat men and also train fat men. Very, very cool design and very, like. I like how he stands out in um, in the Metal Gear universe since everyone is kind of like crazy, ridiculous, uh, like with powers and like doing all this ridiculous shit. And then we have this like NY NYPD cop dude who's just trying to do his best, you know. And unfortunately, he doesn't make it through the incident, but you know we get to see the bravery of this man who has a cane and is retired, you know, but decided to help out anyway, right? That's really cool character. Uh, James Johnson, I think this may be the president? I don't know. Scott Dolph? I can't remember who he... can't remember who this guy is. Yeah, whatever. It's cool. Yeah, we have the marine, the marine designs, right? Inside and then the outside design. Yeah, the Marines. That. Nice complex stuff here. Yeah, we have a uh, Gul Golukovic, Sergey Golukovic, the guy early on that uh, Ocelot double crosses. And then, um, I think he appears later on the tanker incident. Or, or, or he dies. I can't remember. Yeah, the Golukovich soldiers, right? I like their, like, cool silence, like, uh, uh, AK-47s, because I feel like that's something you don't really see that much, like a silenced AK, right? But, uh, of course it'd be science. It's like Spetsnaz, guys. Yeah, more, uh, enemy soldier designs. Very cool. Yeah, little details here and there. How the, how the vest goes on. Very nice. This is all done by Yoji, too. So, you know, props to Yoji... For just being a fucking monster worker, man. All this stuff is so cool. Oh yeah, dude, one of my one of my favorite designs, the Tengu Commandos, right? Like something about these like samurai motherfuckers, dude, just so cool. You know when they first drop in, and they have this cool ass armor design. Oh man, so cool. I really wish these guys made a return. But they don't, which is a little sad, but that's okay. They're just so fucking cool, though. Right. So I want you to do a cosplay of these guys. It's such a cool design. Yeah, so we have the high-tech soldiers, right? Characters. There you go. We have Olga Golukovic. Who uh, eventually has a Sunny, I believe, as a child. I always like um, Olga's uh, design, where you have like the, you know, the uh, kind of like tank top on top, and then like these really big baggy pants on the bottom. Um, very, very cool dichotomy of a uh, of design. Yeah. Yeah, this is her with, I guess, a. Uh, like a, a mesh, right? Maybe some some more armor, but then I guess they decided to to go against it. Yeah, and then now we have her uh, cyborg uh, ninja outfit, right? Which uh, looks which is male on the outside, but inside we all we we know who's inside, right? Oh yeah, we got fortune here. The unstoppable Miss Fortune, dude. Bullets came a fucking hitter, dude. Yeah, we have her with her like coat and the shoulders on, right? With no arms. Some more face designs. 
Yeah. Very cool. It's dead so. Sorry, guys. Um, there we go. So we got Fat Man. Look at Design Man. So complex. But um, you know, if you look, if you if you look, his overall design is very simple, right? It's just a lot of bips and bops, you know. And bips and bops, they they, they help, but the over the overall design is more important than every bip and bop. The bip and bop just makes things more believable, right? But we have a good uh, what do you call it balance between you know really cool design and nice bips and bops. Right? Yeah, fat man. Going on those roller skates. We got a vamp. And all of his, uh, Dracula gl glory, right? Look at that. Yeah, vamp is a really cool character. I'm glad, um, you know, he survived this incident to, to be in number four. Very cool stuff. Oh, dude, it's your boy Ocelot, dude. It's the guy, dude. It's the, inc the, the inciting incident. This whole game, if anything, just follows Ocelot for most of it, you know? In all the games. Like, you're all just trying to, you're like, it's because of fucking Ocelot, dude. It's causing all this bullshit. But that's how he is, right? He was a Spetsnaz spy for a while. Sorry about that, guys. The, uh... The police have come for me. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we got Solidus, right? And his uh, big Ock, Ock, Doc Ock tentacle arms. You know, still, still don't really know the reason for them, but they're they're cool. It's a cool design. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> now we got big balls. Oh yeah. Or um, not big boss. Solidus, right? Or the big boss clone, right? <clears throat> yeah. You know the big old Doc Ock arms. He has his two swords. I just I just love that he wear, wields two swords. There's just something so cool about it. You know, and he he has, I don't know what's the point of these Doc Ock arms, but it's just cool, you know. And like the the way it like creates this shape around him is just I don't know, it's just fucking cool. I feel like the 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 ending where you sword fight with Solidus is fucking, it's real solid if you get my meaning, right? Let's go. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, oh, here we go. More Solidus. Yeah, when he's like, he's like, standing on the on top of uh, Arsenal gear, and he reveals himself. Rah! And this is, I guess, this is detailing some attacks that he would do, right? And how his arms work. Nice. <clears throat> Another uh, Solid Snake, right? Yep. We got Ray. Yeah, like I said, you can see how Shinkawa is not only like a great artist, but a great technician as well. You know, and he's really good with mechanical design. Very good stuff. We got um, I think this is uh, Fortune's railgun. Yeah. Yeah, we have a uh, more Ray, and then we have like this is the when Ray has like pops off the sock the head and you could put in you could jump in right yeah this is the inner the uh inner what do they call it uh controls and i guess um this goes over on top of you as i guess uh, a form of pr protection as well <clears throat> and it just fucking leaps out dude yeah i like how this one has marines on it very cool More Ray. 
I can't read Japanese, so I don't know anything that's the same except for like you know side view, front, back, you know. <clears throat> we can see here that Ray's wings can like bend down, I guess for like smaller storage, right? Just a practical detail that uh, makes it seem more realistic. Same thing with the cockpit here. Here we go. Yeah, so I guess I guess it's showing um, the different stances it could have, right? This is like, this is in the. I think this in the storage unit before they like pop out, you know, and then ah, he's like, here I am, you know. Yeah, and how the legs move, um, how the feet make contact with the floor. I'm guessing the 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 feet can like morph so that it could it could walk on all terrain. I'm not sure. Yeah, we have the cockpit. Here we go. How the cockpit fits in. It's very cool. Yeah, we have Ray inside of a... Like a... Uh, test chamber. Where they have the scaffolding to build it and to, to make repairs. And to house it. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the here's the uh, drawing. I'm assuming of uh, of uh, Shinkawa's work. And this is probably like the the first one, and then he did another drawing on top of it that where he refined everything and then made the illustration that we see um, earlier in the book. Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm guessing this is Arsenal gear. This big, you know, like what the fuck is this? It's like the god hand, you know. It's like it looks like the top of something's head. Yeah, and I guess this is a torpedo, like to show scale. Yeah, it's like this weird, big, amorphous, like, and I guess it splits out. That's cool. Look at this fucking thing. It's so it's such a weird shape. Metal blade. Okay. So these are this is a unused design. Um, I'm guessing of a, like a mech suit, right? That could be used to fight the Metal Gear. I'm assuming. I'm not sure. I don't know if it would be used against you or. Let's see. Yeah. So these are these are um. We call it uh, early designs for Ray. Very cool. I kind of like this design. It reminds me of a. Of like a manta ray slash like a like a cobra almost right. Yeah, we got um more ray designs, just very cool, just very nice little shape sketches. Yeah, we have ray on top of the um, I'm assuming the ray, the marines deck. We have the, the side view, you know, like the, the overall shape right here. Just more more concepts, you know. When it leaps up, you know, that's cool. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> very, very cool. Nice little side view, mechanical stuff. Metal Gecko, nine millimeter. That's that's cute. Yeah, now he's he's uh, using some marker to to give it some tone. Yeah, 
I've got a metal. Oh, there, this is just like cover and like the, um, some of the, uh, boxes inside of, um, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the tanker? No, not tanker. Um, the, the platforms. I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, the platforms, and then this is just like, you know, the containers you could hide behind. You know, they're just showing like cover, right? Versus like a guard who's going here, you know? The piece of places you crawl under. Just environmental stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're entering environmental details. <clears throat> Here's the do door designs to the, uh, the big shell. There you go, big shell. Nice. Yeah, door design, hallway design. Yeah. Very cool. Did it say Big Shell here? Pretty sure it's Big Shell. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, catwalk design, I believe. Yeah. Panels, control, control panels, and and uh, light, light fixtures. It's cool. They designed everything, man. It's a, uh, it's really cool just to see, you know, how everything was designed, making it feel believable, you know, and like how it's a recreation of um, of uh, Shadow Moses in in a way. Yeah, I think this is the hallway where where uh, Vamp attacks those. Uh... Yeah, yeah, this is where he attacks all the the Navy Seals and and a snake comes in. Look at that. Control panels, more bips and bops, dude. Yep, just showing they designed all of it. Really cool. Yep, this is the like the catwalk in the game. Um, I think this is where like you get shot by missiles. This is the area where you fight the jet. Yeah, this is like the central core area. Um, I think this is where you first see the arms tank president or the, uh, the president. Oh, there's like there's an explosive here, a couple explosives, and you have to disarm them. Yep, this is the conve conveyor belt area. Yeah, these are very familiar. Despite it just being like machinery. It just shows like good design um, can outshine uh, like what people will consider like, you know, kind of like a boring um, like factory design. You know what I mean? I think this is the way you go down to face off against the ninjas and the and then eventually Metal Gear. Yeah, here we go. I like how Snake fights Fortune. And like you 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 don't I don't think you ever really you, you face off with Fortune once, but like you don't like end her. Right? She's kind of like almost like a background character. Official illustrations part two. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Now we have, you know, the touches of marker, you know, and then like a little bit of a digital thing here and there, right, for the background. Very nice. We got Raiden. Looking slick. Okay, got that bo booty bopping, dude. Oh! Right? That's for the ladies out there. We got Otacon, dude, posing, dude. Oh, dude, he looks like he's like fucking Michael Jacksoning right now, dude. We got Emric, uh, Emma Emric, Emma Emric Dazingier. What? 
Nope, nope, there you go. Yeah, we got the Colonel. We got Rose. Right, I like Rose's colors. Very nice. We got Olga Golukovic. Very nice. I like, like I said, I love her, her uh, tight up here and then like baggy down here design. We got Ocelot with his red gloves. I like, I like how red hands have always been a, a motif in Metal Gear. Yeah, Fortune. Very nice. Showing off a lot of leg. Love it. We got Fat Man. I I I like Fat Man a lot. I feel like he's his design is so cool, and I feel like people don't really talk to talk about him much as like one of those iconic um, bosses in Metal Gear. But I I really like Fat Man and his design and his, like his whole like stick of being on like, roller skates. It's, it's just funny, you know. It's just like a really super mobile turtle, you know. Yeah, we got Vamp. We have Vamp. His a uh, cock knife. Yeah. He cannot die. With Solidus. Yeah, hiding all his uh, his uh, external gear, but you can kind of see it underneath. Very cool. And uh, he, this reminds me of like guts a little bit. You know, with his big ass coat. Metal Gear Ghost Babble. I'm assuming that's a comic or an, a game that was not re that was like a not released not 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 released but like a I think it was like a Game Boy game. I'm not sure. Yeah, look at that. Wow, so cool, man. I think these are designs for the Ghost Babble game. Not sure. Oh man, we have more constant illustrations. This book has a lot in it. Very nice. Wait, didn't we see this already? Or is this just like a rough version of the same drawing? Very nice. Either way, very nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, these are early concept for Snake and shit. We got Raiden. Look at that skull suit design, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, these masks, like, this one looks like... Like it's got, it's got a lot of tooth to it. You know what I mean? He's like, Ehh. it's like the chihuahua, like a chihuahua smiling at you, full teeth out, dude. Oh, dude, this is like this is for like the fanfic right here, dude. You know, Snake holding a what we call it, uh, Raiden, trying to save him, dude. You know, Raiden, I. I've never held a man like this before. Snake. Hold me closer. I want to feel your breath on my neck. Damn. Yeah, just more Raiden stuff, right? I'm guessing these are, are early designs of Raiden, right? Um, I guess this is this is more of like a sneaking suit design. But uh, I guess they went for the more sleek design. This is more regular, like snake almost, right? Very cool. This almost looks like the boss's suit. Maybe they they rehashed this idea. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing this is right in with a uh, with pants and kind of like a cybernetic suit on top. 
Very cool. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, these are Emma designs. Right? Uh, when she was a little bit more... I guess skinnier, right? Less nerdy. Right? And then they kind of, they were like, okay, we gotta... We gotta, you know, make her more human, right? Increase some of her proportions, right? We got Rose. This is a cool, this is just a cool drawing, you know? Yeah, nice little Christ symbol here. Yeah, I like how Yoji is just go with fashion in general, so you get, you get that as part of the design. We have a uh, Ames right here. Scott. Saruman. And uh, Doc, I guess, is a, a character that was not included in the actual game. Yeah. More designs. Glukovic. Olga. Or... Yeah. So we have some soldier designs. Right. Oh, dude, this is actually really cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, these are the the early ninja concepts, right? With the the mask, with the it's almost like a um, Oni mask on top of another mask. Very cool. Reminds me of Death Stranding. Yeah, and these designs maybe this reminds me of um, the flame guy from Metal Gear Solid Three. The pain, I think, yeah. Yeah, the 2030 Navy SEALs team. That's cool. We got Olga, rough sketches. Yeah. I guess in this one, she's, she's going tits out, you know? Oh, these shoulder pauldrons are really cool. Hey, she is she the not gay right here? Yeah, a lot of sexy designs. Yeah, we have um, Fortune. Yeah, this is this is a little too stripper. Yeah, this is more military. Nice. Yeah, we have like that, you know, baggy on top, skinny on bottom. You know, that contrast. I really like that in design. Um, yeah, very cool. <gasps> it's the Chinaman. Is this, maybe, he, I think he might have been another member of Dead Cell. Oh, we have love. I guess this is like a early concept of Fat Man. Yeah, this is really cool. Vamp. Oh, there was. I guess there was a female iteration of Vamp as well, but they uh, didn't go with it. Ocelot. You know. So it's Ja Boy. Some solidus sketches. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, dude, that's a like that's big dick armor right there, dude. This is cool. Oh, I like this concept right here. Like he's just like he's literally like just like a big like the ultimate soldier, dude. Fuck yeah. Um I guess there's a character named Max. I guess she's wearing a big shirt, I don't know. Kind of, it's very cute. Maybe a young, a young daughter for, for um, Raiden. I don't know. Who's I don't know who Max is or what what the idea was. <gasps> it's the Chinaman. Damn. Yeah, Fortune, Ocelot. You know. 
I guess this is the... I think the interview portion, right? Yeah, so if you if any of you guys want to read this, I'll just do like a, a scroll and you guys could just pause it, you know. Alright. Two interviewers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this guy is Shinkawa Sensei. Because Shinkawa has like a really young looking face. Yeah. Yeah, this is Shinkawa right here. This is him. Yeah, more interviewer. Here we go. Yeah, just more uh commentary. You guys get to you guys get to read that if you want. Even more. He's just like, oh dude, I had a photo shot photo shoot with uh, Shinkawa sensei. Uh, I'm guessing this is more work that he did, or this is like one of those like ancient uh, Japanese drawings with Raiden. Yeah, <laughs> Shinkawa laid to rest. Very good stuff, man. Oh, and that's it. Let's uh, yeah. Alright guys, I think uh, with that, we're going to end it, you know. Um, so, uh, for my review of this book, um, obviously with Shinkawa, uh, with Metal Gear, it's always good. You know what you're getting. You're always getting a quality product, right? Um, you're getting a bunch of drawings. You just saw it, dude. You just saw all the drawings that you just saw. And they're all great. It's all consistent. And it's all, if you love, uh, if you're a fan of Shinkawa's work, then you know you're going to love it, right? So, uh... Highly recommended, you know. Um, I didn't see the prices online. Uh, I'm sure they're ridiculous, right? I'll post a link down below on uh, what, how, how much book, how much the books are gonna cost. Um, I recommend that you just get the uh, collection that collects, you know, the the artwork of all the games. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you know everything that's included here is included in there as well. Um, but yeah, uh, great, great job. Like Metal Gear Solid 2, great game. Um, if you like this video, please uh, leave a like, you know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Discuss this art. T talk about how much you, you enjoy this art. Right? And uh, subscribe, all that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.